Modern militaries extend beyond generals and foot soldiers. Of the many specialized roles in modern warfare, combat engineers, or sappers, perform crucial non-combat roles. One of these is the treacherous task of mine sweeping. While out on one such mission, Ukrainian sappers made a startling discovery. Take a look. When Ukrainian sapper Volodymyr and his team discovered the corpses of Russian troops at an abandoned position, something looked off. After a closer look, the reason was clear. The bodies strewn across the floor were actually lying atop landmines. There were three or four of their dead. Two guys were lying on each other, which made us suspicious, because if there had been an explosion, they would have been thrown in different directions. But here, one is lying on the other. We did well by not touching them, because when we reached there with a kitten, we saw that under them was a PM mine. It exploded and blew up with them, but we stayed safe, thank God. Volodymyr nicknames the military equipment here. A kitten is a folding steel hook with retractable tongs that spring out like cat claws. Sappers use them to dislodge booby traps. A PM is a Soviet-era anti-personnel mine. Yes. Occupying Russian troops have sewn mines and booby traps across hundreds of miles of Ukraine's front. Kiev's commanders say it's the main reason why their long-awaited summer counteroffensive has been stunted. For mine clearers like Volodymyr, every day brings deadly risk. They try to make the ground safe, first for their fellow soldiers to advance and eventually for civilians to go home. He says the Russians mine everything, from open doors to toys, and now even their own dead. No. They say that they'd never abandon one of their own kind. However, when they leave their positions, they plant quite a lot of explosives under their own soldiers. Why are they doing this? Because they know that our medivac groups lift the wounded and the dead, under which they then find these explosives. And this can be very dangerous for us. Volodymyr says at least one sapper is either wounded or killed every day. Landmines inflicted a colossal toll in the first month of the counteroffensive launched in June. That's according to Alexander, an anesthesiologist with the 128th Mountain Assault Brigade who treats battlefield wounds. We had cases when five or six wounded people were brought in, and most of them turned out to be sappers. They had just been on a mission, were on their way back on the routes that they themselves had already cleaned. One of them stepped on a mine and was blown up. The three others approached him to help, but they also stepped on mines and were blown up. Yes, these things do happen. There is such a densely mined area that even one step away from the already cleared route may end rather fatally. Since the mines forced commanders to slow the advance, the number of wounded arriving at his hospital has tapered off markedly, but the sappers are still getting killed. Ukrainian factories have been working on equipment to help keep the mine clearers safe. As well as the kitten hooks, Volodymyr's unit has been sent spider boots. They lift each foot off the ground on four metal legs, so any blast they set off won't be triggered directly under a sapper's body. Ior Efemenko makes them in a Kharkiv-based factory, based on a modified Canadian prototype. He told Reuters he pitched the idea to the emergency services after a relative lost a toe to a butterfly mine. But despite these preventative measures, Alexander knows the danger won't end soon. We would have liked to just wake up one day as if it were a nightmare, he says. A bad dream and we just shrugged it off. But this is the reality.